guys and welcome back to my channel. It is me, Daphne, here with another video for you guys. Today's video is going to be a cook with me review of a New Wave air fryer. And I am super excited about this air fryer in particular because it does rotisserie chicken and that is amazing. <laughs> So this is a 10 quart air fryer. I already have a small like 3.7 and I wanted a bigger one just because I thought it would be, you know, helpful. I'm gonna cook and share what I think about this and give it kind of rating. Uses little to no oil. I am not putting any sort of oil at all. Chicken usually throws its own oil so that's the oil that you guys will see is the oil from chicken that hopefully will be on the bottom because I know when I go to the restaurants you see all that oil and like the pan on the bottom because they just like drip and that's what's supposed to make it healthier. By the way, an empty box because I already opened it and it's right down here and I used it already. So, yeah, I am a firm believer that everyone needs an air fryer regardless of what kind, what size, get an air fryer. They are life changing. So if you're interested in watching this video then Keep on watching this video and I'll get right into it. So guys, I have my chicken over here very cleaned, nice and clean. I cleaned it with vinegar, water, and I put a little salt just because I think it cleans it the best. I have my little mixture right here with my cilantro, my, oh God, my fingers are gonna turn orange, but I have my sazon, adobo, vinegar, garlic powder, lemon pepper, and did I say cilantro? but if I didn't, cilantro. So I'm going to put this together, let it marinate for a little bit, maybe an hour, hour and a half, and then I will put it into the air fryer, which is also a rotisserie. So keep on, keep on watching. I had to get off camera to um, add my apple cider vinegar into my mixture. That way we have a liquid now and I could pour it on here and season it up. So this chicken's been marinating on its breast side. Hopefully it soaked in and it's gonna taste delish. I just flipped it over. I have the string here that I did clean. I'm going to tie up his wings, but I can't do that with one hand. So I will be back to show you me putting it on the rotisserie stick and sticking it into my air fryer. I actually used it earlier to make my kids some french fries, so it does work. But now I'm going to show you how it works to make a rotisserie chicken at home, which is super exciting. I already told you I seasoned my chicken. I think it's about ready. I'll show you what this comes with. Let's open this up so you guys can see, and I'll show you what it brings. So this is how it looks on the inside. We have the basket, which you um, put all your, like for me, my chicken nuggets, my french fries, and let it fry. You put this basket in it. Then we have this little thingy here which I believe is where you put your skewer because you can also do like fish kebabs okay I'm having a little trouble this is how the inside looks I think I'm scratching this but this is where the rotisserie chicken thing will go in here here so but let's test it out it comes with these skewers um I think it's six of them and it comes with this which is to do the rotisserie chicken which is what we will be using. I have another air fryer right here. I have this one for over a year already and I love it. And I'm not getting rid of it until it doesn't work anymore. But it's time to try this one. So right now I'm going to stick these things inside the chicken, which these are, I don't know what they're called, but this is how we are able to have a rotisserie chicken and for it to rotisify. I'm gonna stick it through the front of the chicken, find its um hole, there we go, and stick it inside. Ooh, okay, okay. And then I'm going to put this end and stick it on here. to pierce this thing. There we go. I pierced it. Now let's put this back here. Okay, it is now pierced and I am going to twist this little lever. So, okay, we got it on. Looky, look. Oops, I pressed the button. Sorry. Look. That's it. Okay, I'm, I'm not mad right now. Let us sit there until I get this machine ready to go. Let me wash my hands. 
Okay guys, so I'm going to take my chicken and place it inside this hole. And then place it here. I don't think that goes that way. Okay, sorry guys. I'm going to stick this side in that hole because this probably has to hook on there. Okay, it's in there. I guess we'll leave it like that and see what happens. My hands are dirty, let me wipe them down. My handy dandy napkin. Now you put the cover to close it. So we're gonna turn it on. <sighs> okay, don't embarrass me. Oh, just a light touch is enough. On, I think we're gonna press rotisserie. Comes with instructions. So I'm going to just see what's the temperature real quick. Okay, 325. I don't listen to rules. So we're gonna put a little higher. Maybe we'll put cook temperature. Yes, I'm gonna put it to 350 and I'm going to press start. Oh, look. One hour. And in the book, it says to do it for one hour and then raise the temperature to 400 and leave for 10 minutes. So we'll see how that works out. My chicken is moving. Guys, it spins. Can you see that? Oh, you can see my string. Look, it's spinning. But guys, I will be back when the one hour is done and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so there's 11 minutes left. I'm actually gonna stop it here because I wanna leave it for longer cooking at a higher temperature. So I feel that I need to just stop it here. I'm gonna look at it now. Okay, ow, it's very hot, but okay. This is how it looks so far. It still needs 10 minutes, but technically it says it needs 20 minutes. But I'm going to leave it for another 30 minutes. Let me turn on my ring light for you guys to see it better. Now the ring light is on. As you can see, there's some oil down there. And this is the way it looks so far. So I'm just going to close this again. Oh yeah, wait, we got to hold on while I close it. I'm going to open up a can of corn. In my, oops, in my favorite can opener ever. I need to drain out the water. For the most part, I got all the water out. I'm just going to pour in all this corn inside. and just mix it around. I kind of wanted some corn in my rice. I have my sweet platano cooking right now in my other air fryer. I got the Goya brand already done. These taste really good and I don't have to cut them myself or fry them myself. I just put them in my air fryer healthier you know, this is probably already fried in advance, but anyway, that's what I did. I'm probably gonna be leaving it in here for a little longer just because I wanna throw on the juices on top of it for it to kind of soak in a little bit. So, that's what I'm gonna do. So I poured all my juices in there. I have it here for 10 more minutes. My rice is pretty much done. My sweet platanos are there heating up and dinner is late but it is almost ready 51 seconds left let's see what's going on in here looking good so it's finally done let's see what the finish hot oh oh look it's steamed up my whole lens right now <laughs> you guys see that okay let's um fix that problem well it's kind of self-fixing so I'm gonna try that again I'm just gonna stay further away but that is very hot recommend I don't know what's recommend mitts it's like an oven but this is the chicken let's see okay it's not very crispy oh the wing is 
I would honestly leave it for longer, but I gotta feed my kids. So, it's cooked for longer than it said to. Now I gotta figure out how to take this out without burning myself. I'm gonna take it out, plate it, and be back. So, since my husband and I like boobs, I'm gonna cut a piece of the boob. Hopefully you guys can see it. Mm. White meat, yes. Let me taste it. I want to taste a little piece of it. It's so like falling off, it's like so soft. So let me get on the camera or I could, you guys could see me taste it. So I'm about to taste the chicken. Mmm. This girl right here knows how to season some meat. <laughs> now, but it tastes really soft. It tastes really nice. Sorry about the background noise. My kids can't do nothing about it. I have them, created them. They're mine forever. So ignore the noise. But this chicken right here tastes <laughs> really good. I'm too excited right now to eat it. So I'm going to make me a plate, show you how it looks, and I'll do the final review. I can tell you that this thing right here gets dirty, and I don't know how I'm going to clean and I see stuff in there, but that's something to think about. But overall, it did a good job. And considering that it's healthier and all the oils fall out of it, this is good for a diet. I could just do this kind of chicken in advance, cut it up, and put it in my salad. So that is super exciting that I have a healthier chicken instead of a well grilled chicken's also good but a different kind just in case you want to switch it up and this air fryer fries anything everything like I made chicken nuggets in here for my kids um, and french fries it does it air fryers are amazing get yourself an air fryer so guys this is my plate of food this is what's the most important my rotisserie chicken they're gonna look good. Let's just like spin this. Again, don't mind the children and the rice. So this is it. I'm gonna enjoy my last bit of rice. I'm gonna miss you rice. But yeah, my kids, yes. as you can hear, are enjoying it. And now I'm gonna taste everything together. So we're gonna get a little piece of Platano, which is plantain, some sweet platano with a piece of chicken and some rice. And we're gonna put that all in one and we're gonna blow it because it is hot because you know it was just cooked. Yum. So far, I would give it a 4.9 out of 5. Just because I don't know how I am going to clean out the other part. But it might be a perfect 5 once I know how to clean it out. So When it comes to the food and the rotisserie, I give it a 10 out of 5. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to enjoy this food right here. I would like to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave it a like for I can know that. Also, if you would like me to do more videos. You want more? We got fans over here. New wave, doing the thing. Okay, go sit down. I'm going to get you more. And chuck it, cheese! <laughs> okay. Also, consider subscribing if you have not done so already. I appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good night, good day, good time. You know what it is. Another one. And say chuck it and chuck e. Cheese. And chuck e. Cheese wants more. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys.